Before the Prophet had begun his mission to reform the whole of mankind, he was silently preparing and anticipating the calling from his Lord. Let us not forget that the Prophet of Allah was the first creation and spent thousands of lifetimes with his Lord in the heavens. He knew the secrets of the universe and creation before the earth was even made. Narrations say that the Prophet said, I was made a prophet when Adam was still earth and water. While the Prophet was growing up, he made quite an impression on people, known for his good character and trust. He soon adopted the title of as sadiq al-Amin. Some may be a little bit confused or misinformed about the Prophet and his role before prophethood. Before his mission, the Prophet of Islam was fully aware of his being, his role and his Lord. Narrations mention that he, Sayyida Khadija and Imam Ali السلام, would worship. They would perform the act of Salah before it was prescribed to the Muslims. You see, Bani Hashim were monotheists and have always worshipped one God and believed in his prophets. Many were anticipating the arrival of the final messenger, the one to lead them to the true one God and his revelation. In this anticipation, Bani Hashim produced Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, raised him, assisted him and protected him from those wanting to kill this great Messiah. In the build-up to the first revelation, the Prophet of Allah used to trade goods and travel to the likes of Syria for financial expeditions. In his younger days, he was a shepherd, a post very common to the Prophets, as it was a way of leading and finding the lost to direct them back to the herd. Before we discuss the Holy Prophet and his mission, we must first discuss the necessity of a Prophet and why the Arabs of Mecca required one. In order for a community to be able to find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they require a guide and a map. Surely man would wander around in circles if it was left to his own devices and would surely worship itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down prophets to help direct us back to himself and recognize his true magnificence. The necessity of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was to come and reform the community. Many of the monotheists had digressed to polytheism. Idol worshipping was a norm and immorality was on the increase. If it were to continue, then the true message of the Prophets Ibrahim, Musa, Dawood and Isa, peace be upon them, would have been forgotten. The Prophet of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi said, I have come to remind you of the oneness of God and to perfect your mannerisms. It was vital for the greatest of prophets to come at a time of the greatest of ignorance, to correct and revive the true monotheistic theology of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So on the 27th of Rajab, 13 years before the Hijrah, on the sacred Mount Hira, the angel Jibra'il alayhi salam descended to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, revealing to him this verse. Recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance. Recite and your Lord is the most generous. Some say he was scared at the presence of the angel Jibra'il alayhi salam. Some claim that the Prophet wasn't able to read or write. So why is the angel Jibra'il asking him to read? We are blessed to come from the school of the Ahl al-Bayt and the Imams have told us that the Prophet could speak, read and write over 70 languages fluently. The Prophet was one who hid his abilities so people couldn't come forward and say Oh Muhammad, you wrote the Qur'an, it doesn't come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As for being scared, of the angel Jibra'il, Imam Hala Hussein alayhi salam says that we, the Ahl al-Bayt, taught the angels how to worship and praise Allah in the heavens. So how could a teacher like the Prophet Muhammad be scared of his student? The reality is, the enemies of Islam and the enemies of Allah have planned to destroy the character of the Prophet. Those who claimed the Prophet were scared and the Prophet said, I cannot read. Were they present in the cave? Did they witness what happened? Why is it that the Prophet Musa, Ibrahim, Isa all found it easy to accept the revelations and weren't scared of angels? But the greatest Prophet of all time is scared and runs down the mountain, thinking about killing himself? 
The Prophet of Allah was far more courageous and far more superior to other creations that he would be scared. The angel Jibra'il came with a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that revelation entered the heart of Rasulullah. Telling the masses to read, read in the name of your Lord who created, created man out of a clot. Read and your Lord is the most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. So began the mission of the Prophet. So began the reformation of man's intellect and mannerisms. So began the shepherd bring his lost sheep back to the flock. So began the eternal message of the oneness of the true creator. <laughs>